Hello, this is Eric Wamsley, Systems Engineer with Nutanix. Coming at you today with another video for Nutanix Flow. This one's kind of a treat, um, kind of short and sweet as well. We're playing with two clusters that both have Nutanix Flow enabled and they're all managed through the same Prism Central instance. We're going to actually show that Nutanix Flow security policies follow virtual machines regardless of which cluster or host they're on. Even when things are on the same network, you can still block traffic or allow traffic. You can see here I have two clusters aptly named Nutanix 01 and Nutanix 02. They are connected to different topper rack switches, but those two switches are actually connected to each other using high speed links. So they are on the same layer 2 segment. Also the nice thing is they are on the same broadcast domain, there's no ACLs, so they are open to talking to each other as far as the switches are concerned. But if you remember the Favro security policy that we put in place in one of the other videos, we actually do have some firewall rules in place using Nutanix Flow, which is micro-segmentation or virtual firewalls for your virtualization environment. We'll go ahead and take a look at our security policies for our Favro app so we can be on the same page. So we'll go over to Security Policies inside of Prism Central, click on my Faro Security Policy, which is an application type security policy. And you can see here in the middle, my app type is Faro, and I've got four different app tiers. Basically, the load balancing tier is open to the internet. That's that 0000 slash zero here. And you can see it's allowed to talk to the load balancers only. And then basically it's from the top down is what's allowed. So the load balancers and the web talk to each other. Web talks to app. App talks to DB. But app does not talk to load balancer. DB does not talk to load balancer. Things like that. So that's what all those blue lines are that you can see here. Those, that's the allowed traffic. Okay, let's go ahead and get out of this security policy. And then we'll go and take a look at our virtual machines. Nothing's changed from the video we created where we put the security policy in place. So we'll go ahead and take a look real quick, get everyone on the same page here as well. So I've got multiple virtual machines. All these here are inside of my app type of Faro. They are on different tiers. The names kind of give away which tiers they are. But let's take a look at the proxy server, which you can see is the one that's on a different cluster. It is on the same network. I'm on 10.1.10.0.24. You can see all my others are on a 10.1.10, and they're all also on a Nutanix 01 cluster. If we look at the categories for that virtual machine, you can see it is in the production environment. It's an app type of Faro, and the app tier is load balancer. I'll quit on that real quick, and then show you that the proxy 01 has the exact same configuration. Hit manage categories. See, it's production, Faro, load balancer. And you can see there in the middle, it gets the same security policies. So we'll exit out of that. And then we'll go take a look at the actual virtual machines and the communication. So we've switched over to the console view for proxy O2. Remember, this is the VM that's by itself over on cluster 2. The proxy servers are allowed to talk to the web servers. So you can see here on this top ping, I'm going to restart it. And it is able to talk to Web1, which is on Cluster1. So even though they are in different clusters, they can still talk to each other because the Faro security policy allows Proxy to talk to the web servers. But down here at the bottom, we can see that it's actually timed out for another ping. We have the Proxy server trying to talk to the app server, which is actually a blocked traffic. We do not want the proxy servers to talk to the app servers because they should only talk to the web servers. Okay. The web servers should be talking to the app servers. But even though those two uh, VMs are on separate clusters, we are blocking that traffic. If we change our screen over to this one, now I'm on App01. Remember, that's the one that we weren't able to talk to. You can see App01 is actually able to talk to the DB server because that is in our policy to allow. So this traffic is working. They are on even the same cluster. If we go in the reverse, app one is not able to ping proxy 2 That traffic is blocked because we don't want the app servers to talk to the proxy servers. That's just how this application works. So even though they're on different clusters, we can choose to either allow or deny the traffic. So this is just a simple 
demonstration of showing that flow is very powerful. You have multiple locations, multiple environments, multiple clusters. If everything is managed by Nutanix, you can have networking security policies using Nutanix flow to either allow, filter, redirect, or block traffic. This becomes especially important if you have a prod and a DR location because your VMs will have the security policies applied to them when they power on in your DR location, even if IP addresses change. Where all you have to do is tag your VMs with categories and the associated security policies are applied automatically. That's regardless of location, regardless of version, regardless of hardware, and regardless of which cluster it's in, as long as it's all managed by the same Prism Central or group of Prism Central VMs. Hope this video was helpful in kind of giving you another idea of what flow can do for you and your environment. Please let me know if you have any feedback. Feel free to check out my other videos. You can see them on my YouTube channel or go to ewoms.net or follow me on Twitter, also at ewoms. Thanks again. Have a good one.